Welcome to this tutorial. We are going to configure a remote access IPsec VPN tunnel to allow remote users access to corporate resources at HQ. For the remote user to be authenticated over the VPN, we will create a local user account and place it in a user group. Let's also create a firewall address for the local subnet at HQ. The subnet is 10.1.1.0 forward slash 24. Now let's begin with the VPN tunnel configuration. Give it a name and specify the remote gateway as dial-up user. Enable mode config so that we can set the IP range from which IP addresses will be assigned to remote users. Leave the subnet mask for the IP range as 255.255.255.255. .255 .255. Then enter the DNS server IP address. Enable split tunneling. By enabling split tunneling, only specified networks will be accessible by remote users through the encrypted VPN, while all other traffic will have direct access to the Internet. Select IKE version 1, an aggressive mode. For the peer options, select any peer ID. In phase 1, choose the required encryption and authentication algorithms. We do not recommend the use of DES, SHA-1, or Diffie-Hellman group of five or less in a production environment. For extended authentication type, select Auto Server. If you choose Inherit from Policy, it means you will have to specify the user group in the Remote Access Firewall policy. However, we will specify the remote users here instead. Leave the local and remote addresses for the Phase 2 selectors at any any. Next, we will create a firewall policy to grant remote dial-up users access to the 10.1.1.0/24 network. In the firewall policy, we will not specify any user group since that has been specified in the VPN configuration. Finally, let's configure our FortiClient VPN and login from our remote PC. You can download the FortiClient VPN software from Fortinet's support site. Configure the VPN on FortiClient. Select IPsec VPN. Give it a descriptive name, enter the remote gateway IP, and the pre-shared key. Under the VPN settings, make sure IKE version 1 is selected, aggressive mode is selected, and the options is set to mode config. Let the phase 1 and 2 parameters match the ones configured on the FortiGit firewall. Now we are set. It is time for testing. Before let's ping one of the IP addresses at HQ. It is 10.1.1.254.
Enter the username and password to connect. Connection successful. Ping is going through. User PC has been assigned an IP address from the IP range we configured for remote users on the 40 gate. From the 40 gate dashboard, we can see that the remote access IPsec VPN tunnel is up. Also, it is showing metrics for incoming and outgoing traffic. From the FortiGate CLI, let's check the VPN details. Congratulations, you have successfully configured a remote access IPsec VPN. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. See you next time.